What is up guys, Snake here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best defense strategy for every bomb site on the new border map. Before I talk more about the strategies, I want to mention that I'm so, so close to 3,000 subscribers, and if you haven't subbed already, I would appreciate it a lot if you did. Now, this strategy is based on high gold, low plat, so if you're going to roast me in the comments saying this is trash, then uh, I'll laugh because uh, you're the one who clicked on this video. So, border got reworked, meaning every bomb site is actually a pretty good place to go and in my opinion the number one bomb site is armory room and lockers then bathroom and tellers then ventilation room and then customs but of course that's my opinion so with that being said let's head straight into the strats the first site is going to be armory lockers and archives and you will be using Cade, Mira, Capcan, Jaeger, and Mew. So the walls you want to reinforce for archives and armory are this wall this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, and this wall. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you want to reinforce this wall and this wall. That is ten walls. Just like that. And there you go. All the walls are reinforced, as you can see. And, uh, yeah. So, let's head to the first operator. The first operator is going to be Cade. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is where to put the Cades. And the second thing is going to be where Cade is going to play. So where to put the cage? You want to do this fast, uh, honestly, before you reinforce, because if the drones find you doing this, then we'll still know where it is. We'll probably shoot you from below, honestly, and uh, that would really suck. Can I break this piece of wood? How many bullets? Thank you. All right. So the first cage is going to be right here. Uh, you actually want to. I really just try to break like just this one, but you know. Seed sucks. So, anyway, uh, maybe you'll have to go a little bit farther back, but pretty much you want this hidden from um, the enemy. Uh, I mean, that's kind of what you want, but you know, the game's trash. Anyway, the second cave is um, going to be up here, but it's going to be up right above this so that the Twitch drones um, can't shoot it, which is awesome. Uh, pretty much you want to line your. Uh, line up with that corner right there so you want to push all the way back into the wall and get your cave lined up with that and then it will go perfectly right there and it will barely touch that corner and this wall will be fully electrified now where Kate is going to play is actually this mirror that's going to be right here so you're just going to want to take this down this wall is going to be busted out because mirror is going to bust it out and then you just you know Kids try to get closer and be just like, get out away, get away, kid, get away, you're trash, you're trash. And you won't, you won't get peeked you from right here because everything's not there anymore, so back. you only have one thing to peek absolutely destroy kids. Anyway, let's head to the next operator. The next operator is Mira. The so the first thing Mira wants to do when she spawns is, Five is uh, you know, forget about Keep reinforcement for for and run to all the way to security room and just uh, shotgun all out so that the cave has a nice line of sight into security. Next, you want to go back into armory and of course place your Mira down on this wall. I hope Cade would have it reinforced by then. And then Cade can play right here. And if anyone tries to peek this kid, you know, he'll absolutely wreck their cheeks. Now, where Mira's gonna play is actually a pretty OP spot. I think my mom showed me it yesterday. Um, just wanna place your mirror right here. Probably gotta do it farther to the right. I think I did a terrible job. But yeah, yeah, you wanna place it as far as you can to the, to the right. Um, I placed it right in the smack in the middle. But anyway, this is gonna make it so you have a line of sight all the way down there. So if anyone tries to push in here with a quick plant, you absolutely destroy them. And you will be fully, you know, covered. You got the whole this whole thing just covering your body. And then you got the actual mirror part covering you and then if you want you know peek the window and then absolutely destroy kids through there too 
But uh, yeah, this is uh, Mira, and this is where she's gonna be playing. And of course, um, you want to have this barricaded, so I can rush up real quick and absolutely destroy you. And uh, there you go, that's Mira. Let's head to the next operator. The next operator is Capcan. Now, right when you spawn in as Capcan, you want to fastly run to these spots to put down your cap cans. Break room, you're gonna put one as slow as you can on that doorway. And then, the security room, you're gonna place one on this doorway. Someone tries to run in here real quick because Kate is absolutely pooing on their cheeks. Anyway, uh, the third one is gonna go right here. This is absolutely amazing. Some people don't really know that like this is actually a doorway, so they're really not gonna think that this is there's gonna be a cap can right there, so that's gonna you know mess up their day. And then you wanna put a cap can on this doorway and offices, and then your last cap can. Where did I want it? Oh yeah, over here in armory lockers, right here. So if anyone tries to push in real quick and absolutely destroy. It's not gonna happen. I mean, no one's gonna destroy Kate unless you're MLG Pro. But anyway, if they do, they'll get absolutely destroyed by that. And um, Kate, he has two choices. You can either play in archives and you know watch this window, but kind of mirror has that on lockdown, or you can play in uh, offices and uh, you know just sit on camps and wait for these kids to try to push you and then absolutely destroy them. Either way, it's gonna work and it's gonna be great. And that's Capcan. So uh, let's head to the next operator. The next operator is Jaeger. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is where to place your Jaegers and barbed wires, and then where Jaeger is going to play. So first, Jaeger is going to be in armory lockers, and it's going to block anything coming through this doorway and if the floor. The next Jaeger is going to be right on top of this yellow thing right here. I don't know what it's called. And it's going to block any nades coming through this doorway or this window. And then the last Jaeger is going to go right up here. This ADS is going to stop anything coming through these doorways, this doorway, and this doorway, and then this window. Now, your Jaeger is going to be roaming. Um, pretty much where you want to roam is somewhere in Teller's main lobby or bathroom. Pretty much what his uh, job is, is anyone coming through like bottom, you know, just absolutely destroy them. And when they start pushing closer to uh, the bomb site, what he does is he comes in, of course, flanks them absolutely destroying them let's say they push into offices and they're like playing around right here you will come right behind them and absolutely shoot a bullet right into their bum of course you don't have to play like that you can play in other places but pretty much what jaeger's job is is to roam the next operator is mute what you want to do right when you spawn in is uh i mean your job is so these drones don't get the sight if you see one drone find sight then you are banned for i don't know i really don't care um anyway this is where you place your mutes you kind of want to place them in a manner that uh your drone you don't want a drone to find where you are that would be really upsetting honestly you should put your first one right here a lot of drones come up those stairs right away because a lot of people like to push from uh, i think that's west over there yeah and um then your last one is going to be right uh here and um there you go these are the mute spots and now mute has a c4 i mean you got four operators i think with c4s and then you got jaeger um but either you can play in customs and inspections you can play in server room or you can play in ventilation but if you do get pinned down it's gonna be upsetting because if you get pinned down in this window you're not really gonna have a way out so i really want to want to play in here if i was you but pretty much you know you just roam so we got two roamers and three anchors and uh right when people start getting close to sight you can actually run up these stairs kill people who are run running up these stairs or you can push all the way towards break room and uh kill people that are in here trying to peek this cave like if you're trying to peek the cave you're just dumb but anyway yeah that is um the whole setup for armory lockers i think it is and uh archives and um yeah let's head to the next bomb site the next site is going to be a ventilation and workshop and you will be using bandit mute jaeger capcan and vigil the first operator is going to be 
bandit. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is where to put the bandit. You're pretty much going to want to put him on all of East Wall. And uh, it's going to, you know, stop people from coming over here. Anyway, sorry. Alright. And then, of course, you're going to have, like, a mute right here. Kind of just, you know, placed right there so that, you know, Twitch doesn't get it. And, um, that's going to stop people, like, a Twitch drone coming in and absolutely destroying your, um, bandits. And then we're going to have a Jaeger ADS over here, too. And, um, of course, I'm not going to have barbed wire. I'm going to have a C4 instead. I don't know why I still have barbed Anyway, whatever. You can go and roam in one of these three places. You can roam in customs. You can roam upstairs. And, and or you can roam in tellers. Um, you just got to pick one of them. There's going to be two other roamers. And one of you guys are going to be in each area. So one's going to be customs. One's going to be upstairs. And one's going to be in tellers. Um, and yeah, so if you go customs, pretty much what you're going to be doing is stopping people from pushing from this wall and of course this window. So you can play around right here, just, you know, somewhere in this room. Uh, a lot of people like to push from here, mostly ashes trying to rush in. So if you can get them right when they push in, maybe standing right here. And then when you hear someone break this window, you can right there too that is bandit let's head to the next operator the next operator is mute now right when you spawn in as mutes uh wherever you spawn in i spawn in ventilation so boom you want to turn around real quick and place a mute right here at this drone hole and you want to run over here you want to place one right here i think it Now, right when you spawn in as mute, I spawn in ventilation. If you spawn in workshop, you do stuff over there first. But anyway, you want to turn around real quick and you want to put a mute right here at that drone hole. You want to run over here. You want to put a mute. Oh, you want to put a mute like this at this doorway. And then you want to put a mute right here at this doorway. You want to run all the way to workshop. And you're going to want to uh, place a mute right here. Boom. And there you go. And then uh, if you see any drones right here, you know, you just absolutely destroy them. Because, I mean, you don't have five mutes. You only have four. It's very sad. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Now, mute is going to be an anchor. There's going to be two anchors for this site. Um, you would have vigil, you know, make an impact. I don't have vigil. So, anyway, you're going to be playing right here. If this gets opened up, you're going to want to kind of push back into here. But you just want to stay right here and just, you know, chill out. Once you people start pushing in right here, absolutely destroy them. You can push back, maybe shoot through right here. You can have a little punch hole to make them think that you're there, but you're really not because you're not that dumb. And, uh, yeah, pretty much this is where you're going to be anchoring. And, uh, yeah, let's head to the next operator. Next operator is Jaeger. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is where to put Jaeger's ADSs and barbed wire and then where Jaeger is going to play. Uh, so this is going to be reinforced, but make sure you reinforce it before we put Jaeger in there because then, you know, <laughs> there won't be an ADS anymore if you reinforce it with it on there. Uh, the next ADS is going to go right here and then the last one is going to go right here in ventilation. Um, if they shoot it, well, that's tough luck for you, but yeah, it's going to go right there. Now, barbed wire. Uh, you're gonna put the barb right, right here so no kid rushes in here like they're freaking good at the game or something like that And then uh, you're gonna put a barb right over here. It's gonna help for the drones that try to push in here um, They're gonna jump over it though. So, you know, make sure you have some good aim and um, Yeah, so pretty much where Jaeger is going to play the course is gonna be like three roamers but Jaeger is gonna be playing mostly like bathroom and tellers so I mean, you only got one window to cover, so honestly, if you fail, then you suck. If you want to be kind of like cheeky, it is gold and like low plat, so uh, just sit right under here. Kids are going to drone right by you. Um, if they look this way with the drone, then, well, that sucks for you. Um, but yeah, they, they jump in, you knife them, and then you slowly move away, aiming at the doorway, because their teammates are going to be like, oh, shoot what's happening and then you crawl away and run away like a little girl that you are because you just absolutely murdered someone's life 
Now, this is going to be good because when people try to push the bathroom to get through this wall, you're going to absolutely, you know, if you kill a thermite, then you're goaded. Um, if you kill, like, a, a little IQ, then, you know, I mean, that's cool. It's a body, but who cares? Anyway, yeah, that's um, where you play a Jaeger. I mean, you can play anywhere. I really don't care. Let's head to the next operator. The next operator is Capcan. Right when you spawn in as Capcan, you say, forget about everyone else, and, you know, you go put your Capcans down as fast as possible so the drones can't find you. First one's gonna go main lobby, and then the second one is actually gonna go right here in the main lobby. And you wanna put one right here. A lot of people aren't gonna expect this one, that's because this used to not be a doorway, so uh, that's pretty cool. And then you wanna put one right here, and then the last one is going to be either on this side or this side, but uh, mostly people aren't gonna be like angled looking over here. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it over here. And boom, there's your cap cans, and then you go reinforce. And where cap can is pretty much going to play is um, he's going to be uh, an anchor, uh, and he's mostly going to be anchor in workshop. You can, you know, be just holding an angle on the doorway or something like that, or you can do something cool like sit on top of here and look at the doorway because no one's going to, you know, aim up here at you and if they do open up this wall highly doubt it um you can drop right down here and a lot of people will actually like go right past this spot they'll drone this out and be like oh it's clear have their teammate push in and then right when they start trying to plant you can, like shoot at them i mean you can shoot at them right away but you'd probably die from like their other teammate so once they all push in Boom, you start spraying, bro. But uh, I highly doubt that they're going to get through this wall unless they're pro gamers. Um, again, you're playing high golds, low plats. I don't know. Most of them may be just solo queuing, honestly. But uh, that's Capcan. Let's head to the next operator. Next operator is Vigil. As a Vigil, right when you spawn in, you want to make this rotation. And then your job is honestly just to go roam. Uh, as a Vigil, you can either roam in Customs, Tellers, or you can roam upstairs. Uh, whichever one you want to do. There's three roamers. One's going to be Customs, one's going to be Upstairs, and one's is gonna be, one is going to be in Tellers. Uh, it doesn't matter where you play. Just kind of like, you know, a lot of people push from... Um, armory lockers and archives and try to get above so you can play in ear and here maybe play behind this wall if you really want to but there's not really an ideal spot you have to play just somewhere upstairs protecting above from fuse or some silly operator that people want to bring i don't i don't really don't know but uh yeah there you go that's the vigil and that's actually going to be the last operator uh with that being said let's head to the next bomb site the next site is going to be bathroom and tellers, and you will be using Mira, Cade, Jaeger, Frost, and Mute. The first operator is going to be Cade. So right when you spawn in as Cade, you want to reinforce these three walls, and you want to place your Cade right here, uh, just in case they go like Cali or someone like that. Um, the Cali won't be able to get your uh, Cade. And of course, you're going to be banning um, Floors because he is absolutely OP. And hopefully, they ban Thatcher. So, if you get, um, I think if you get defense first, they ban first. I think attacking bans first. I don't really freaking know. Anyway. So, right when you uh, place your Cade, you want to head over here. And I didn't say, but there's going to be Frost is a. Uh, Frost's right shield is gonna be right here, so they won't be able to shoot it from like you know down the hall. And the wall covers it anyway, so you'll be fine. Um, and then you want to put your second cade right over here. Actually, I'm gonna put it on the ground just again for the Cali. If someone goes Cali, then they're absolutely trash in this game. But you want you always want to be sure. And um, yeah, that's where you put your cades. And then Cade is mostly going to be playing. He can either play right here. Uh, watching the mirror that's gonna be in here or he can be playing in here watching the mirror That's gonna be in here going to this window uh, It's your guys's preference on which place you want him to play but That is Cade let's head to the next operator the next operator is Mira the next operator is going to be Mira and what you want to do right when you spawn in is reinforce this wall and place down 
you a beautiful mirror just like this uh, you can go to the other side of the wall and shotgun it out clear, you know so you can see better I guess but uh, yeah you just want to shotgun boom this wall and right when you see kids coming from customs or like this door way over there main lobby or I don't think you can shoot them over here but you know you can look at them and be like ha oh, come on come on come on and then right when they and then you absolutely destroy them but a really really important spot for mirror is going to be right over here it's just gonna be easy to just shotgun out before you reinforce it uh, so do that and then you want to place the mirror right here just like that and then you want to go over to the wall and actually shotgun it out. But don't make a rotation because you don't want these kids to push in and absolutely bum rush you. Um, if they do that, they will get trash. But yeah, you don't really need a rotation right here. If you really feel like you should have a rotation, you can put a rotation, but it's not really needed. And then when these kids try to peek, you just absolutely destroy them. And if they're trying to peek you, you just... Come, I mean, it, it, come on, this, this, this spot is really, really good, I'm not gonna lie, but anyway, it's a great mirror spot, and uh, yeah, that's mirror, let's head to the next operator. Next operator is Jaeger. Right when you spawn in as Jaeger, we spawn in that bathroom, so we're gonna put our first Jaeger right here, it's gonna protect anything coming through this doorway, and you know, some people are crazy, so they'll probably throw a nade all the way from that window trying to get this Kate over here, so that's gonna stop that also. And then we're going to put another one over here just in case they burn through that one. And then we're going to put our last one right over here in this corner. <coughs> and um, it's going to stop anything, you know, trying to come to this wall or these two windows to kill the mirror. And then barbed wire. I'm going to go right here. And then we're going to put some right here just like that. And that is Jaeger. Let's head to the next opera. Frost. Right when you spawn in as Frost, you want to come right over here, put your shield down, and go right into Tellers. And you're going to put all three of your Frost mats in Tellers. Um, try to hide from the enemy. Let's hope Mute does a good job putting those Mutes down, and uh, let's hope you're safe. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Anyway, there you go. Put down all three of your Frost mats. Hopefully, people don't look for them. And if they do, hopefully they die anyway. Uh, but there you go. That's Frost. And pretty much where Frost is going to play, she can either, because there's going to be three anchors, either play in bathroom and, you know, just chill and watch the shield so if anyone comes from over here boom absolutely destroy him anyone over here boom because mirror is mostly going to be watching that way and west more and then you can actually just be watching this way and when no one's right over here and mirror's like yo someone's behind here you can jump over make sure you check that just in case and you can watch into of course the main lobby waiting room and uh, absolutely destroy some kids so that's frost let's head to the next opera the next operator is mute this drone hole you want to run all the way over here and place oh you gotta place it by this drone hole sorry right in the hallway and then you want to place one right here make sure you don't get in the way of the frost mat and you want to place one right here and that's going to stop all the drones from getting to the site and then um, start shooting them and stuff like that. You can place them in better spots if you want, but or you can just leave them right here. But uh, that's gonna stop uh, people from getting to sight. And um, as a mute, you are going to be roaming in either two of the spots, customs or upstairs. Uh, if you are in customs, you can again kind of just be in this area watching the ash rush in or someone rushing in from this window or some people actually coming from over this area and um yeah that's what you do as a mute you can either play downstairs or switch with the rumor that is going to be upstairs it's up to you guys but uh with that being said let's head to the next bomb site the next site is going to be customs inspection and supply room and you will be using Cade, Smoke, Jaeger, Capcan, 
and vigil. So what you want to reinforce on supply room and customs is these walls. You want to reinforce this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall, these two walls, these walls over here, and this hatch, and this hatch. And there you go, all the walls are reinforced, as you can see. And that is uh, all the walls that you have to reinforce for supply room and customs. Let's uh, head into the actual operators. The first operator is going to be Cade spawn in as a cave is reinforce this wall and then you're gonna want to reinforce the white wall leaving outside but first the cave over here is going to be located right here so if Kali doesn't get it people can um, push in here really fast and shoot it but again they would have to know where it is and um, hopefully you don't let that happen now Kate also wants to reinforce over here, or has to reinforce over here, and then your Kate is again going to be located right at the floor, right here, and um, you're going to be fine, people will breach from up here, but if you get two Jaeger ADSs just sitting on the walls, you will be fine. Um, as a Cade, you do want to play um, in here, kind of just want to play like in this area, around over here but right in the start of the match when you know that people are pushing for the wall you want you to sit right here and just wait for these drones to push in um and you know absolutely destroy them uh so they don't get your cave meaningfully i mean really twitch drones uh they can sometimes get an angle so just kind of be like this and just you know block block it just sit on it man sit on it like an old man so they can't get it and uh yeah you'll be fine Oh, come on, bro. Really? And, uh, yeah. If you do that, you will be fine. And, yeah, that is Cade. So let's head to the next operator. So, right when you spawn in as smoke, you actually have a really big job. You want to break this wall right away. You've got a lot of shotgunning that you have to do right at the beginning of the match. So, that these two walls right here are going to be reinforced so you don't really have to worry about them. The shotgun all down we have sight into the site and then of course make a rotation so it's easy to get into the site so you can run all the way to that doorway and uh, it will be easier if you make it so your teammates can run through it so it'll be a lot easier to get by and um I already pre-placed it, but you want to place a shield right here so that people, right when they jump into this window, if they do, they will have to immediately jump over this. Pretty much just slowing them down so they don't get right behind this area right away. Um, and then you want to put a shotgun out right here. You just don't mind this side of You're also going to be using your smg 11 as a primary so if you play smoke make sure you get good with this weapon and you're just gonna play behind the bomb and just kind of don't really peek as much but right when people start to push in you just smoke them out and don't be trash like me smoke them out so they don't get the plan off and this is pretty much where you're gonna be playing is supply room you can push out when you need to and if, if you feel safer, you can barricade this if you don't have to, but some people like to be safe, so you can do that. And uh, yeah, that's smoke, so let's head next to the next operator. The next operator is Capcan. Right when you spawn in as Capcan, you want to go and place down the Capcans. So the first one's gonna go right there, the second one is gonna be located in Passport Check, right here, and the third one gonna run up all the way across the map to this door right, right here and you're gonna place this one right here you can place on either side uh, whatever one you think is better and then the fourth one's gonna go right there and then the last one is going to be all the way over here and there you go that's where you place all your cap cans for a and B bomb site in customs.
and um, as a cap can you mostly do want to play in customs uh, there's gonna be three um, anchors and two roamers so you can actually play in here uh, you can actually there's a way to get on top of this TV I forgot how but you know there's a way to get on top of this TV or you can just you know sit right here here and uh, oh, I didn't know it was a freaking seven foot wall right there. There we go. No, okay. Anyway, you can just you know make some bullet holes or something like that and watch this way uh, for anyone pushing them over there. And um, this is gonna be shotgunned out, so you can actually just play in this room and be fine. And uh, the smoke will have your back on this side if anyone pushes from right here. So it's pretty, pretty, you'll be pretty good. And uh, if they somehow do open up this wall. But you mostly just want to stop them from pushing in here and shooting the cave to open up that wall, and uh, you'll be fine pretty much. So, yeah, that is Capcan. I said to the next operator. Next operator is Vigil. So, right when you spawn in as Vigil, you can actually help Smoke out by just making a position that he's going to be making there later anyway. And uh, you can either be roaming upstairs or in tellers whichever you prefer uh you can be roaming in upstairs and then when you have to you can drop and actually um you can actually make a rotation right here too if you want you can save your other impact and make a rotation right there too and you can drop down here and um come behind anyone who pushes from tellers or main lobby into customs from this area so that's vigil and uh that being said let's head to the next operator next operator is jaeger Right when you spawn in as Jaeger, the first thing you want to do is go and put your Jaegers on this wall. You only need two of them. Um, if you feel like you need the third one to be here, you can put it here, but that's going to stop any nades or anything coming in through these, uh, the, drone hole or, the drone hole or up here. And it's going to pretty much stop you know, them from getting op open that wall. And then you want to place your other Jaeger just over here on this wall. And to make it so people aren't going to push in through here as easily. And now your barbed wire, you want to place the barbed wire right there. It's going to really slow them down, really help out that smoke. And then you can put your other one right here. So it's going to be a bit harder for people to push in through this doorway. And there you go. That is the bomb site for every map. I'm just going to end the video here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. I mean, smash it! And subscribe and um turn on those post notifications for uh more videos like this if you guys did enjoy this video that's awesome um you know favorite you know share it whatever you want to do uh comment down below your thoughts on this video and um if you have any questions that i you want that you want me to answer i can uh, answer them in the comments and um yeah don't tell me i'm trash because you know i know i'm trash yeah deal with it and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If I forgot anything, please comment down below, like I said. And uh, check out the links down below, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, what is it, merch? Oh yeah, merch. My merch is cool. You should go check that out. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys in the next one. Yeah. Peace. Okay. I hope you guys did enjoy that video, but let's talk about the verse of the day. The verse of the day is going to come out of Romans 8, 26 through 27. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. And pretty much what I mean from that is most of us will face very difficult circumstances in our lives. When we do, we will likely feel that our prayers just bounce off the ceiling. Our words will seem empty and useless. We can't seem to verbalize what is in our hearts. We feel like our words are ineffective and insufficient. So what do we do? We just trust His promise. We go to God in prayer. Even when we don't have words to say, we offer our hearts to Him, trusting that the Holy Spirit takes those thoughts, emotions, and frustrations to God. The Spirit makes our hearts known to God, interceding for us according to God's will. Even when we don't have words, the Spirit makes our needs known. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.